Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and I hope that everyone is having a good day and happy spring. Today is the first day of spring and I have this colorful look for you all so let's get right into it. So I will be starting off with my eye primer by Pro Revolution Eye Elements in the color Core and I will be using a flat concealing brush to apply it over my eyes but I will be using my finger to blend that in. So once I have both my eyes primed, I'm going to be going into my Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to be using the darkest pink in there and I'm just going to be applying that to the inner crease of my eye and I'm going to be working it out to the middle. Once I have completed that, I will be going back in and using the darkest purple shade and I will be applying that to the outer corner of my eye. And going back in with the pink, I'm just going to be blending that purple and that pink out so that there isn't any harsh lines in between the two. So I'm going to be taking my um, Eye Revolution primer again and I'm going to just be cutting two cut creases into my eyes and yes, I think I'm getting better at this. <laughs> I'm trying. And I'm going to be going in with that green and I'm going to be packing it in the um, inner corner of that crease and I'm going to be applying it all the way until it gets to the middle. So I will be using my Revolutions palette for the blue and I'll just be digging into that blue up there on the top corner and applying it to the rest of the cut crease on the end and I will be blending the green and the blue just like I did the purple and the pink so that there isn't any harsh lines in between the two. So going into my LA Colors um, Concealing Palette, I'm just going to be using that dark brown color to blemish out those harsh lines from that eyeshadow. So really quick, I just wanted to show you the difference between the blended one and the not blended one. So it's very important to get those harsh lines out. And going back into the Revolutions palette, I'll be taking that dark purple and I'm just going to be um, blending it into that purple that was already there. I just felt like I needed a more big pop, you know. And then I'm going to be taking my Take Me Back to Brazil palette and going into that navy blue looking one and uh, applying it to that blue. And taking a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean up all that fallout for when I put on my foundation. And to create my wing, I'm just going to be using this liquid eyeliner that I purchased from my local beauty supply store. And I'm going to be applying some of my Essence Kit Big Lash Mascara on before I put on my falsies. And for the foundation, I use the Fit Me Matte Poreless and the 356. And I will just be distributing that all over my face and I will be blending it out. I will also be getting my neck because I do have some discoloration in those areas. So yeah, I will be blending my neck in to um, match my face. I will also be blending my eyeshadow out as well. Some more at the end to make sure that it's all seamless. Now going in with my JB highlighter palette, I will be using that gold color and I will just be applying it to the areas that I want highlighted.
Now going in with my Duo Contour Palette, I'm just going to be um, contouring my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead. So I will be going back in with my booty blender and blending all of that contouring out as well. So after applying my falsies off camera, I did apply more mascara to give them that big voluminous look. And for my setting spread, I will be using the Mario Badesco. And that is all I have for this look. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what you all think about these bright colors. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying their first day of spring and I will see you all in my next video.